all the extinguisher blew into the crowd, blew into the small children, and then blew back onto the band. Some parade revelers got a little more than they bargained for on Fat Tuesday. Yeah, cell phone video capturing a float rider spraying a fire extinguisher into the crowd during that King Felix parade, and they weren't too happy about it. Our news reporter Ariel Mallory joins us in the studio. Ariel, you talk with that woman who says she actually inhaled those chemicals mm -hmm. when this thing happened. Yeah, that's right, Byron and Shelby. I spoke with Kristen Perez, who says she was marching with a band that was right behind the float when it happened. She says the wind blew the chemicals from the extinguisher right into their face. She doesn't think this was an appropriate action. But it was not a very pleasant experience, and it could have very easily been avoided. This is the unpleasant experience that Kristen Perez is talking about. A parade reveler capturing cell phone video of what appears to be a float rider spraying a fire extinguisher into the crowd. <laughs> This happened Fat Tuesday during the King Felix III parade. Perez says she and several other people she was marching with were unfortunately right behind it. A guy on the float ahead of us pulled a fire extinguisher, sprayed it into the crowd, um, and then uh, what, what came out of the extinguisher then blew back onto us mm -hmm. into the band. In the video, you can see several people putting their arms up and telling the float rider not to do it. And at one point, you see the crowd start throwing items back at the float. Perez says several of the band members took a direct hit from the extinguisher chemicals. From there, it then blew into our mouths, our eyes, um, the instruments. Um, it blew my mouth enough that I could feel it and taste it. And then my daughter complained of it getting into her eyes. Um, and various man band members also complained about it being in their face. An official with Mobile Fire Rescue says they didn't respond to any calls of anyone having breathing difficulty during the parade, but emphasized an extinguisher is not something to be played with. It's not a toy. It's not something that people should consider playing with. It could cause uh, breathing difficulty uh, if in the event that you have a pre-existing respiratory condition. Uh, it's possible that breathing in the ammonia phosphate could exacerbate that uh, respiratory condition. Perez says they did eventually witness a police officer take the fire extinguisher away. She hopes in the future people will be more mindful of things like this. You can have fun and not endanger others. It could have been worse. I hope that maybe parade organizers warn their, um, their people in their organizations of behaviors like this. Now, I did reach out to Mobile Police to ask if they got involved, but was told the matter was handled by that floats organization. I was unable to get in touch with anyone. Live tonight, reporting in the studio, Ariel Mallory, Fox 10 News.